Hello, there's a four page article about the Irish Freedom Party, the Irish Mail on Sunday. We are a party, we won't be shoved in a little box. We want to go mainstream. As I made clear in that article, we aim to run a candidate, Irish Freedom Party candidate, in every constituency in the country. We'll start, out, start off with the five seaters, the four seaters, and get into the three seaters. We are about to uh, publicize probably five or six of our first candidates now in the next few weeks. We need your help. We need cash, commons, and candidates all around the country. We need as much money and as many candidates and as commons as we can get our hands on. If you are serious about making Ireland a safer place, making Ireland a more prosperous place, and making Ireland a freer place. As I said before, if we want a free people and a free country. If you're on board with that vision of Ireland, the small state, low tax, that people, that young people have a future in Ireland, free or more prosperous Ireland, that is what the Irish Freedom Party want. Second point that I would say, is there a part in what happened there on Saturday? Now we can see from the footage that a car tried to ram uh, people who attended the rally. That was a car tried to ram people. It was completely misrepresented in the Irish Independent. However, in my experience, let's talk about if we want to go mainstream, we cannot, the last thing we want to do is do what our enemy wants. Don't give our enemy what they want. Now, I was in RD there last weekend and I was, uh, traffic was going past slowly as members were giving out leaflets on the main streets. Uh, we, a number of us, maybe seven or eight, were holding up two different banners and the traffic, which was going past slowly anyway, they all saw the banners and a lot of them gave them a beep or a thumbs up or shouted encouragement because they agreed with what it said. I, Ireland is full and Ireland is no one's colony. People agreed and they beeped their support. Now contrast that with, let's think of an alternative, alternative scenario where a large group of people who are opposed to migration, immigration into Ireland, that they block, let's say, the entrance to the M50 for half an hour or 40 minutes. Now, the consequences of that is that people have a long wait in a car. They get really cheesed off. We saw what happened there about 10 years ago in, uh, when the taxi drivers uh, tried to block the port tunnel and tried to block the M50 in Dublin. It completely lost public support. So let's think very seriously about changing our tactics to suit what is going on today. We can also see that the guards, Drew Harris OBE, has, has stupidly sent out the guards to look for trouble with those who attend a rally. Now the last thing we should give our enemy is what they want, which is scenes of violence and physical strife on the street. We must, and I'm urging you, keep all protests completely peaceful. If they're peaceful, we attract more people to come and attend. Our rallies get bigger, they get bigger in number, they, get, they become and they go in different places. This weekend, there's one in Kilkenny, there's one in uh, Drogheda, there's one in Carrick Macross. They're just additional places that I, I'm aware of. If we keep these rallies peaceful, well ordered, uh, give people uh, a chance to beat their encouragement, to shout encouragement, uh, we will grow uh, in frequency and, and in number of places around the country, and we will get bigger and stronger, and we will have a greater impact on the political landscape of Ireland. Now, I would ask you to help me keep all these ra rallies peace peaceful, well-ordered, with a clear message of Ireland is full, we want to say for Ireland, and come the summer, our numbers will be much bigger and a peaceful uh, environment and culture of rallying will attract more people. There's already many women and children come to our rallies. The more peaceful it keeps, the more people will come out in our support because our cause is right and our cause is just. So I would ask you to come and join with us in the Irish Freedom Party. Join up, send us your money, come along to the rallies and uh, let's do what we can for a free Ireland. The despicable violence that we saw on Wednesday in East Wall when that anti-fan nutter tried to run over some uh, someone, a concerned parent who was at the at the rally, is the logical endpoint 
of all the hatred being spewed by official Ireland, by the Irish establishment, at people who are out protesting against open borders and mass immigration. It happened, there was a violent incident in Drogheda on Sunday, uh, where some guy rushed and tried to grab the Irish Freedom Party banner. And now in East Wall on Wednesday, we have a crazy anti-fa guy tried to run over somebody and nearly could really have hurt them very badly. This is the third time that somebody in Dublin has tried to run over a person who attended an anti-mass immigration rally. Just shows that the political and media class are gung-ho in demonizing ordinary people who are concerned about the safety of their community and the safety of their family. Uh, my attitude to this whole thing, yes, is always keep it peaceful. But in hurling, my attitude, I would never try to pull a trick or do a dirty or commit a foil on anybody. But I would say that if someone tried to commit a foil on me, that uh, there would always be, as best that I could, there would be repercussions. Anybody who commits violence must feel re repercussions. And the quicker they feel it and the more immediately they feel it, they will understand that it's not right, it's not good to uh, commit violence on people. You must defend yourself at all times and not cower to the, the violent thugs who these establishment politicians send out to do their dirty work. They are the cat's paw, Antifa, Siru. These scumbags are basically doing the establishment's work. They're not anti-establishment. They're working for the establishment. Whereas we are working for a free people and a free country, working for a, a more secure and a safer Ireland. My name is Herman Kelly. I'm president of the Irish Freedom Party. Go to Margaret, sir.